this is Caroline. I'm with Echo Consulting and I wanted to jump on again to talk a little bit more about the new planner app in Teams and how it can work together with the newer app Loop, both from Microsoft, uh, for project management. Uh, Quick intro on Echo Consulting, we do project management solutions for a variety of types and sizes of organizations, and we work with a lot of different software tools. I was excited to be able to put in the Microsoft Partner icon down here. We became a Microsoft Partner this year, so we've been really getting into that. Just as a quick intro, when I'm thinking about what I want uh, to use as a project manager, there's really three basic views that I'm hoping for. Um, I want a way that my team members and myself can see their individual view. They're my tasks view for the day so that they can implement the project. Um, I did a quick overview of how the new planner app uh, has a My Tasks view now in Teams, which is really cool. I'll show it again really quickly. You just open your Planner app in Teams. I would suggest you add this new Planner app in Teams if you haven't yet, and it's just included out of the box, My Tasks, which is very cool. You can now see the tasks that have been assigned to you from any type of plan, premium or basic. Um, so that is now out of the box just from Planner, which is great. The second view I need, which is the one we're probably really familiar with as project managers, is the, the view of, of an individual project. Everything happening on a project, all those tactical details, how it's being scheduled, what the status is, um, how we're doing on our dates, uh, the overall health and budget and, and that kind of thing, that tactical view of a single project. And this is something that can be challenging, not just in Microsoft tools, but in a lot of tools, because there's a lot of things that go into a single project view. I did another... Uh, a webinar on project management data and we talk about all the different data that feeds into projects so you can check that out if you want to hear more about all the things that are relevant to the project but if you've ever found yourself halfway through a project looking in 10 different places to figure out what's going on looking in your email looking in your project plan looking on another task list looking at meeting notes uh, looking at recordings um, then you've probably had this struggle of being able to see across a project from one more centralized place. The final view that I would like is a view across multiple projects. And um, it's certainly, there, there are lots of big organizations that do very large projects where you have teams and project managers working on a single project. But at ECHO, we work with a lot of groups that have medium-sized projects or smaller projects. And they are working, we are working with people that work not just on one project at a time, but on multiple projects at a time. And project managers that are managing multiple projects at a time. So it's important that they have some some way to see across those projects, both tactically scheduling what's happening when, who's where, who's available to do things, but also strategically. And that's really um, the piece that, you know, like the golden ticket if we can get there is the strategic view across multiple projects about how you're prioritizing them, um, how, how they're meeting your goals and your KPIs and, and that kind of thing. So. I'm going to focus today on the single project, more tactical view, but we are going to go there with um, how to do multiple projects in Microsoft tools as well. So let me jump into to Loop, as since this is focusing on both kind of the new planner and Loop, and we'll, we'll see how you can do a great view of a single tactical project. You can already look at the My Tasks individual user view just through Planner itself, and if we add Loop in, we can get a really nice holistic view of a project um, using it in conjunction with Planner as well. Um, if you, this is another one, if you haven't tried it yet, Go ahead and try to add the new Loop app in Teams. It's not showing for me. Let me just find it for myself. Open up my Loop app. Right now, the Loop app, it, it is connected to Teams, but it's, it's the same view you'd see if you were looking at Loop Online through your browser. But that's an easy way to get to it is the Loop app. Um, it has what are called components and pages, and those are organized into workspaces. So you'll see how this works as we kind of go through this. But I'll go ahead and take a look at just an untitled, 
I think this is the same one, Untitled Loop page that I have open. When I first, first started working in Loop, it reminded me of like a wiki page builder or even just a notes app. Um, you can add in things like checklists very easily, you know, that you check off, assign them to yourself using at or to a team member. Um, you can do nice things like headings so that you get a nice organized page that you can do table of contents for and so on. And in some ways this is going to be somewhat similar to OneNote, the way some people use OneNote if you're focusing on mainly the notes taking part of it. However, there's a couple of things that make it particularly useful for, make Loop particularly useful for project management. One is the, I mean, when it, the, the key thing that it does is this components idea. And this is the fact that when you hit that backslash again, you can bring in connections to other Microsoft apps. So I'm going to actually go and grab a plan that I already built in Planner just by clicking on it. So the, oh, and I mentioned myself, the the key here is you, you need to have made a plan in Planner first in order to use it this way. But I made something I called Plan Template 1. I click on that and insert it. And I now have that plan right here in Loop. Now the way it was described to me at the recent Microsoft conference was Loop, it, it's not a, a copy of things. It's not a, you know, a link that's going to open up in another page. This is actually a portal. You are directly interacting now with the plan in Planner without having to go to another view. And this can be really cool because you now you've got your actual plan here and you can take any notes related to that plan, you know, right there on the same page rather than having things in two different places. I can do the same functionality. I can check tasks off um, as being complete. Uh, I can group by bucket, filter, a lot of the functionality that I am used to in Planner, I can just do right here without having to go somewhere else. So this components idea in Loop, and they're building out more and more Microsoft uh, components that you'll be able to keep connecting into these loop pages. And in fact, they've already got some outside ones, if I do my backslash again, to connect with Jira, to connect with Trello boards. And it would be the same idea. It's going to be a portal to that piece of Jira or that piece of Trello um, directly from this loop page. So that components idea is really key with how loop can bring things together for a single project. Um, I'll show you another example of this, which I just think is super cool, and that's using it as part of meeting notes. So the, the way to really leverage Loop as part of a meeting, I'm going to schedule, I'll just go on my, go on my Teams calendar, and I want to schedule a new meeting. This is, we'll call it the same like XYZ project that I was kind of showing right there. And I want to actually schedule the, the kickoff for it. I'm going to add some of my team members. I checked the time. That all looks fine. And then right here, there is now a space that says to add an agenda. If I click on that, it is going to create a loop component for meeting notes for this particular meeting. I can start going typing in the agenda. Um, you know, whatever it's going to be. This is a kickoff meeting, so we're going to do an intro. We're going to review the proposal. We're going to talk about expectations and schedule and talk about next steps. How about that? <clears throat> and then there's a space here for, for the meeting notes um, as the meeting actually proceeds. But if I take a look and see where this loop component is shared, I click on this, and add it to a loop workspace. It's going to bring me back into loop and ask which workspace do I want to add it to. Well, I had created this project workspace and now this page is actually part of this workspace. When I open up the workspace, here I can see this loop page that is actually the meeting notes for this meeting. I'll save this meeting. All right, I have that basic agenda. And when I go back in, I'll pull up the meeting again, and I'm going to join that meeting. 
starting it early. This is that same meeting I created. I'm joining it. And now when I look at this notes app up here, here is the agenda that I made earlier. And within the meeting, people, all, all the other people attending the meeting will be able to type directly into this agenda within the Teams meeting, and it's going to update. If I show you kind of back here in, in Loop itself, here's the update that I just made. Um, and it's, it's happening live. It's that portal idea that you're directly connecting through Loop um, to all these different things. So uh, this is very exciting because it helps really bridge one of the uh, key things that is often hard on projects, and that's the work that you're doing, you know, whatever you're doing, the schedule and the, the deliverables and all of that, to the places where you're talking about them or communicating about them. And we often have a gap between those. You know, you, talk, you have a meeting, you talk about things and come out of the meeting and the action items don't necessarily ever happen or no one ever follows up. And then you feel like you have a meeting and you're talking about the same things again, or um, I'm sure we're all familiar with that. So I'll get out of this meeting, but this is one of those cool uh, loop things that's, that's a really neat way to connect what you're doing on a project with the actual times you're meeting about it. If I come back out, so that's my page for those meeting notes, um, and that's showing that components idea. The second thing that I think is very unique um, about loop and gives you a way to really connect in um, different assets of a project, let me move this window really quick so we can see the whole, there we go, is the workspace idea. And so if I'm coming back out, as I said, Loop is organized into workspaces. You can have independently existing components and pages. If you make something, you don't have to put it in a workspace, but if you have a workspace, it's really a container for a group of Loop components, but it can also, you can add other things to that Loop workspace. So when I look in this workspace for Medium Project XYZ, I can see uh, a page that I made that's sort of an overview or landing page for the project. Um, Medium Project Orlando XYZ, some high level information about the project. I, I inserted a table um, with some basic information about the project roles. But here are the meeting notes for that project kickoff meeting that we just did. And you know, hopefully within the meeting, other team members would have added notes. We might have even added some follow up tasks. Asks, you know, schedule workshop one, which I'll assign to myself. But we would have been doing this, you know, in the meeting uh, for tomorrow. Now that I've got this, I can just drag it directly onto the project and it's going to make it a little sub page. So going forward, as I'm doing more meetings for this project, I can keep saving my or uh, connecting my meeting agendas in loop back to this loop workspace and I'll have them all together. You can even copy this whole component or share it, share it as a component. I can add this somewhere like uh, an email or um, in, an, in another workspace and enable someone again to have that portal experience where they're not looking at a copy of things, they're actually interacting with what is created in these Microsoft tools. In addition to these loop components that you can have in loop workspaces, you can also add additional links. And this is a cool part of um, the organization that will allow you to bring other things together for a project. I can add just a URL, like SharePoint files, URLs that you might want to visit, and it'll often bring in the little icon. So I added in a crate log. That's what we use at Echo for our changes, risks, action items, issues, and decisions. I had created one already in Smartsheet. I think I'm going to try to create one in Planner too, but I can just add the link to that directly into my Loop workspace so I can come and find it here. Uh, a document in SharePoint um, that I've got, you know, Word Online, I can connect directly to that here as well, and it's all going to be in one space. So the, those components of Loop, the ability to put in these Loop components that are portals to other places where work is happening and put it all in one central place within a workspace are the really unique things that I think are going to make Loop plus plans and planner um, really helpful and able to give you a holistic project view. 
Um, I'm sure we'll be recording some more videos about this piece of it, but we also want to take a look at how to look across multiple projects in Microsoft Tools. So stay tuned. Um, we'll have more videos coming up about that soon. And thank you.